On the Profit Report tonight, some final thoughts as UofL once again is searching for how to turn around what was once one of the legendary basketball teams in our country. Over the years, we've joined you too many times with firings at UofL that involve scandal or major controversy. In this case, folks, None of that applies to Kenny Payne. He got fired because he didn't win enough ga games. Plus, the financial losses were mounting for the university. Last night, the coach did not take the blame, instead saying the fans and other people bailed on him, not understanding that the turnaround effort he faced was like trying to save the Titanic. I was cheering for Kenny Payne, and why not? He's a Louisville guy, and he also said on day one that he knew that he carried an important mission for the black community. The head coaching job could be one of unity. After all, we are all still segregated in our churches around here and our neighborhoods. But we come together in that Yum Center. It didn't work. The Yum Center stayed nearly empty. Kenny Payne leaves as a still beloved former championship cardinal. He could also be leaving with a hefty $8 million payout, and UofL is back in the same boat. After all, they're still paying Chris Mack $133,000 a month, that's right, a month, until 2025. The Titanic job now shifts to someone else. That's my profit report. I always appreciate your opinion. Here's how you can reach me. And thanks for joining us at 6. More of our coverage right here on The Night Team at 11.